Do you want to learn how to make this viral sticker style, which I personally made a bunch of edits on? Well, I mean, if you're watching this, then you obviously do. Today, I'm just going to cover how to make these overlays. But these other transitions I made shown on screen also require null layers, which I will not be covering in this video. But I'll work on an ultimate nulls guide soon. So make sure to subscribe so you'll be able to see that when it comes out. Today, I'm going to be making this Cobra Kai edit of Miguel and Robbie, which I made for my undercover account. The video isn't out at the moment, so I'm not going to spoil it. But if it is, you'll see it on the video card above. So watch it later. First, get this crumbled paper background, which I'll link in the description for you to download. Put it as a background like I did. Now, let's make our overlay. If you're using a photo, all you have to do is drop it into your After Effects project. If you want to use a certain clip from your scene pack, then screenshot it and import it as a photo. Because I'm going to make two overlays with a single photo, I'm just going to duplicate it so I can cut out each character with each layer. I just made one of them invisible so I can focus on one. Go ahead and make your photo just one frame long and use the Roto Brush tool to cut it out. I'm not going to give you an entire guide since I've already made one. <laughs> Check out the video card. <laughs> so now that I've finished using the Roto Brush, click the Freeze button. Now make a brown solid layer by clicking Ctrl Y. Cut it right below your photo. Next, click on the mask tool cut up thing up here. And just make a choppy outline over here. Don't make it look perfect. Make it look more of like a magazine stylish, just like I'm doing. And if you actually put one where you don't like it, just click Ctrl Z to get rid of it. And once you're done with it, to finish it off, connect it with the last dot on the mask, just like I did. Once you finish that, make it as long as the photo is, aka a frame long, and make sure it's only underneath the photo layer. From here, I just messed around with the photo scale and the position a little bit to make it look slightly better. You could do that too. You don't have to. I don't really care. Once you're done with that, go ahead and pre-compose the solid in the photo. Then left click it. Go over to time. Then freeze. Now from here, you can make it however long you want. If you have more photos you want to apply the sticker style to, repeat the process again. I'm just doing this with Miguel Diaz here. Now from here, we can add some light animation and effects to make them look way smoother. Go over to the effects and presets panel and search up glow. Then drop it to your sticker photo. I can't give you specific settings because it's going to look different for every photo. So mess around with the radius, threes hold, and the intensity until you think it looks good. Next, drop drop shadow to the sticker photo. From here, change the angle of the photo and put it at an angle so it looks like it's behind the sticker, like mine. Put the distance from anywhere between 45 and 65. The softness anywhere between 100 and 145. And the opacity to something in the 80s. Lastly, this is optional, but to get this wiggly effect, search up a tutorial for turbulent displays. I was gonna cover it, but for some reason it kept lagging on my After Effects project. I'm too lazy to make another one. Anyhow, go ahead and copy these effects to any other sticker photos you made. For me, I'm just doing it with my second layer. And from here, all you need to do is make a basic animation with it. For me, I just did a basic up and down position animations with these. If you've been watching this far, I'm gonna assume you know how to do all that. But if you don't, that's why I decided to speed up the process here if you weren't following. All the key things I'll say is make sure you have motion blur enabled and the ease in kind of graph on whatever position or skill transition you're doing. Once you got that all done, pre-compose it. And you just made yourself a basic sticker style. Now, if you need to add lyrics, then all you really need is some nice, clean, dequo text. So watch this video on screen to learn how to do that. Go check out the edit I made for this tutorial in the pinned comment on my undercover account, which if the video is out, then it should be in the pinned comment there too. Like if you found this helpful, subscribe if you want more, and comment for what tutorials you want to see next.